Hey guys, haven't been on for a while. I got a lot of nice new toys here for you. Um, I wanted to show you my latest uh, great find here. This is the 1965 uh, Fisher, uh, the Fisher console stereo. This is uh, the Ambassador model. Um, I got this the other not too long ago. Um, I've always wanted a Fisher uh, stereo system, and this one here is one of the best that they made at the time. Um, let me show you a little bit. But this one here, the woodwork on this thing is beautiful. It's uh, fruit wood. Um, let me just show you the detail on that. It's a 1965 Fisher. Um, this thing was like brand new. I got this from a guy uh, not too far from me. Uh, he was the original owner of this. Actually, his parents were. Uh, he remembers when they bought it. It cost a lot of money. Actually, the um, inside the cabinet was the original manual to it. And then also is a 1965 uh, Fisher uh, brochure. And I'll show you the model. There's different models in here, different ones. Um, and mine is in here. This one here is called the Ambassador. Like that one there was uh, $695. Uh, Fisher equipment is like high-end, uh, top-of-line stuff back then. And even today, uh, collectors look for this stuff. And uh, you don't see too many Fisher consoles. Um, that one there is $895 for that model. Um, so I was lucky to get this nice cab brochure. It's like brand new as well. That's mine right there. And this one here originally cost $1,045. Now that's just for the unit. Um, and they had your choice of um, turntables. And uh, this one came with a dual turntable, which is a really good brand. Um, the model that I have, I'll show you. I don't think they listed or not in here. Is this one right here, the 1009. But at any rate, um, let me just dig this out for you and play it for you. This is a beautiful machine. Um, I'll show you the inside here. That's the uh, the turntable there. Um, pretty neat too. You'll notice on this turntable, there's no arm to hold the record. It's because of the special uh, special um, spindle here. You'll see the little tongs there. They actually close in, and that's what drops the record. And um, you just put it in and turn it. Um, but also, too, there's one there for single play records, which is right here. It's just another little spindle. And then your 45. There's an extra 45 adapter. So here's your uh, stereo here, your unit. Um, it's got all your uh, your buttons here. You know, they're for filter. If you can read that light tape. Uh, mono, stereo, uh, auxiliary. There's a tuning eye in this as well right there for your radio. And I also got my hooked up my uh, nice Anakai uh, reel-to-reel -reel system. I got this from a lady uh, for free, um, which was a really good deal. It was like new. Uh, it was her father's, and he had just recently passed away, and uh, he took good care of this thing. This one was a 1984 model, so it's not really that old, but it's like brand new, and it sounds unbelievable. And I got it actually hooked up to the uh, Fisher here. But at any rate, let me uh, let me show you. I can show you the uh, stereo, of the radio here. Sound too bad. See the uh, tuning eye there. And the speakers are actually on either side. And they open up. Here. Real cloth is like new. There's another one on this side. Sound quality on this thing is amazing. So loud. It's not even on two. I forget how many watts this thing is. It's a lot. It's like 65 watts per channel or something output or 220 watts. I'd have to look at the manual. It's quite a bit. That's, the, that's how that sounds. That's the radio. And then in the middle here, I like this. Shelving over here, and that's why I kept all this, all those more manuals and booklets that came with it. And then on this side, record stores. I got some of my some of my record collection here down in there. Not bad. It's a really nice machine. Like I said, I've always wanted a Fisher stereo, um, and I, I paid hardly anything for this. I think I paid twenty five dollars for this. Or something. Twenty five dollars. Believe that. I mean, it's, you ain't gonna get no better than this as far as uh, consoles go. Um, 
Anybody that collects this stuff knows when the Fisher Fisher Quality 1965. You buy a small, a cheap used car for this money. This thing cost back then. But anyway, let me demonstrate the record for you too. I'm gonna play the. Uh, put down uh, the nice Andrew Sisters in Hi-Fi. I don't know if you like the Andrew Sisters or not, but there's their there's their record I have here, Capitol Records. 1955, 56. It's pretty neat. You just set the record down on the thing. Turn this over to a phono. Just turn this on here. Really, really nice system. Sound quality is amazing on this thing. And you can hook up wide surround speakers on this, external speakers. It's so loud, I don't even got just the ones that are in it. The sound quality is great. Of all the boys I've known and I've known so 1956, and the sisters in hi fi. If you guys like the Andrew Sisters or not, but that was what I just picked real quick. But it does all, all, all the three speeds, obviously, your normal 33, 45, 78. Got a nice Pickering cartridge on there, too. The, the uh, emblem inside there, Heritage Series, the Fisher. Really, you guys get a kick out of that. You get enough for it, not bad for $25. Um, the guy was more interested in having it go to a good home uh, more than anything. Um, and obviously, you know, things like brand new. His mother and father took really, really good care of this thing. That's for the money this thing cost back then, over a thousand dollars. I don't know how much that is in today's money, but I'm sure it's well over three or four thousand. You know. And I'll, I'll play the uh, the reel to reel here for you too. This is a real Nakai. The uh, GX4000D. I only got about 10 reels right now. I got a Ray Conniff here in uh, Las Vegas, which is a pretty good friend of mine. Let me borrow that. The woodwork on this thing is beautiful. Down to my, down to my, uh, my shop right now because I just gotta, I'm gonna put it in my family room upstairs. I just ain't got a chance to move it yet. This thing weighs a ton. But. There's more jacks in the back there for uh, for additional speakers. You can have uh, I think four more, and then it also has WS that stands for wide surround, which I always thought that was kind of odd for 1965 having surround sound, but it does, and they work. And it sounds great. So you got to hook up the speakers to it. But uh, this is about as best you're going to get for 65 stuff right here. And I haven't done anything to it um, other than uh, played it. Plays fine. The guy used it on a regular basis, so that was always a uh, a good thing with this stuff. And they sit and sit unused, not plugged in. Uh, that's actually the worst thing you can do for this stuff is not use it. And he used it the regular the radio anyway quite often. But record player plays fine. One thing I had to do to the record player was I had to adjust the uh, where it set down on the record because somebody had touched that and there was a screw in there you adjust. And that's it. And it works fine now. But it's got all the weights and the. Time is weighted there. It's on two grams set up. So you guys get a kick out of this, and I got this one next to my uh, my Motorola console, which that's all restored now. I uh, had the amp all restored in that, so I'll be making a video of that as well next. So. Anyway, I figured I'd show you guys. I'll play some more music for you here on this great machine. Let me know what you like. I got all kinds of good stuff. I've been digging up my hi-fi records now. I play the 78s all the time. Okay, guys. 1965 Fisher Ambassador. You guys enjoyed it.